Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, use Riemann sum to work out the area between uh, between zero and two. So that's uh, that's this area here. Okay, so use Riemann sum to work out this area here. Okay, and uh, and this here is here to help you. Okay, so um, so work it out. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, follow our normal routine. That is uh, that is to get the whole length here. So uh, two minus zero divided by well divide this area up into n strips. Okay, divide it up into n strips. So uh, two minus zero. So just get this. Uh, take away this. That's this whole length here, and then divide it into n pieces. So uh, so whatever this may be, that will represent your your delta x. Remember the delta x is the uh, the width of the strip. Okay. So so that's a normal routine. So if you um so if you get if you get this whole length here, uh, divided by that, that's two by the way, two, and then divided by the uh, the number of strips here. So this would, would represent your delta x. So your delta x uh, would would be the width of each strip here. Okay, this is also delta x, also delta x, also delta x, and so on. So um, so this being your delta x, then then re remember the uh, the uh, if you want to sum up all the um, all the areas, you uh, the the x coordinate here will be two over n. So you you would then put this into the original function. So you would put two over n into the well into here, into here, into here, and into oh, well yeah just just up to here. Okay, so so the whole thing here would um, would represent this height. So the first part, of the the first area here, this area here, would be the height. Which is given by which is given by this times the uh, the width here, which is given by this. So that's the first area, and then the second area. Well, the uh, the x coordinate for, for for this strip here, the x coordinate right here, is given by by um, by four over n. Okay, so so that's given by four over n here. So you would put four over n into the original function here. Into this thing here, into this thing, into this thing. Then the whole thing here would represent the height. So the point is that um, this here. Well, you need to know the height. So this bit here represents the height, and uh, and the the width here is given by this. Okay. And then the next one would be well, you need you need to know the height of this. So uh, so this here would be the height, and then the the width here would be this. So you get the height times the width. That would then give you the uh, the area of this strip here, okay, and then and then it goes on and on, okay, or and then it goes on and on and on, so it goes on and on and on and on, okay. So you can sum you can summarize you can summarize this whole thing here by using the sigma notation, and then from this, um, you uh, because this is a constant because it is a k that's changing about, it is a k that's moving about. This here is a constant, so you, because it's a constant, you can take it out here. So, uh, so that would then become this, okay? And then, um, and then, and then now, um, now this is your function here. This is your function here. So, so remember our function. So, so remember this here is your function here. So our function was was um, was x to the power of three plus. So that's so you putting this in here. That's why you've got to the power of three. That's, so, so it's really you putting this into the original function. The original function was x to the power of three plus x squared minus three x plus two. So it's you putting this into here. That will then give you this. So to the power of three, to the power of three. And then you've got to put this into here. Uh, and then that will then give you this. This here will give you this. And the two here will, will be this. Okay. So, um, so this whole thing here, put it into the original function. It will then take you to here. Okay, so now it's just um, it's just a matter of, um, of of tidying things up now. So so you've got a fraction here to to the power of three. So it's really this bit here is really two k over n times by itself three times uh, times by itself three times. So that will be top times top times top. That will be eight k squared. Bottom times bottom times bottom, that will be this. And the same goes with this, that will then give you this. And this one here gets multiplied to the top, that will then give you this, and so on. 
okay and then uh, and then hang on and then uh and then what oh yeah and then you uh you uh you you can do this okay so uh, so concentrate on summing each individual one here so concentrate on summing up each individual one here and then uh, and then later on we can we can multiply the whole lot by by this thing here okay remember th th there's a law that allows you to do this okay uh, and so on so uh, so you know, so now looking at this looking at this uh, only um, this here remember when you see a summation like this it is a k that's changing it is a k that's changing so this thing here is a constant so you can actually take the constant out okay and then you can just concentrate on on finding out the sum of this and then this here is a constant so take it out and then just, so that will allow you to just concentrate on finding out k um, k squared and then uh, uh, this here is a constant take it out and then that will allow you to just concentrate on finding out the, the k and uh, and there's a there's a law that says that if it's a constant you can just get this times this so uh, so this thing here because it's quite easy we can do in one go this will then become this the good thing about this is that this is a bit hard to to compute so we we would break it down so that we can just concentrate on finding out this we can just concentrate on finding out this and we can just concentrate on finding out this okay these these are a lot easier to find than than the whole thing here okay so remember constant take take each constant out um i will continue in the next video okay